So I've um, run this ATS 25 Max Dakota 2 on um, FT8 on 20 meters using the whip. I'll show you a clip of how I got on there, just with the telescopic. Okay, so I'm quite impressed with this, to be honest. Uh, I've got the ATS 25 now on its uh, telescopic whip there. It's just sat in the shack on the desk. It's on 20 meters, uh, FT8 decode, and you can see um, we've had quite a few decodes there. It is picking up FT8 OK on 14074. I've got the LNA in. I, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. The amplifier and the high Z setting on the antenna. I don't see a great deal of difference with those. But nevertheless, it's decoding fine. There doesn't seem to be any issue with screen noise either using it on its whip. Not on this frequency anyway. We'll test it on some of the other frequencies and see. So, so far, so good been monitoring ft8 for a little while when it does a successful decode as well the radio gives a little beep which actually is quite useful so you know it's decoded something so for a telescopic whip um, as you can see it's 1323 here in the uk i wouldn't say conditions are particularly uh, good at the moment and yet it is still picking up on the whip on ft8 let's have a look at the menu system and the main uh method of operating this radio so uh, we're looking at it just in uh, receive mode at the moment um, if i uh, go to um, the next screen in a moment but the first screen we've got uh, mute and volume we've got the agc control here an attenuator the mode switch uh, frequency where we can uh, type in a, a frequency Okay, or we cancel that, we'll, hopefully we'll come out, yeah. Um, we've got the bandwidth setting, tuning step, band, now band is a uh, broadcast band. Okay, so those are the broadcast bands. And uh, where it says ham, those are the, the amateur bands, so that makes sense. We've got a BFO function here as well. See that's greyed out because we're presumably because we're in AM mode, we'd have to be in SSB. Um, so if we go to the next screen here, we've got RDS function for FM band two, of course, the FM setting, a retro switch which um, gives us this retro tuning dial. Not too sure about that. We come out of that. Uh, some kind of memory setting, uh, a CB setting. Okay, now bear in mind with this radio, it's um, we've got the um, AM CB channel. That's the the, the old mid band or CEPT setting. There's no FM mode on HF, so if you want to monitor FM CB or FM 10 meters, you can't do it easily with this uh, radio. Again, I notice it has a narrow FM function here. But that's grayed out, okay, and you, you get a, a series of beeps when you try and hit that. It doesn't work. So we've only got a, AM and SSB on the uh, CB mode. Okay, so come out of that. Um, we've got scan functions, up and down tuning buttons, a light button. Not quite sure what that's doing, but... Is that a brightness control maybe? Can we? No, oh, that's taking the screen out. Okay, need to look at the instructions for that maybe. Not quite sure what that does. Let's go to info. It probably tell us what firmware we're using, software and firmware, license key. Okay, so we've got some uh, general information there. And perhaps most important here, we've got the setup button. Let's click on that. Let's go right back to the uh, start previous but I don't know why it doesn't start at the first screen I don't know but we can go right through or does it keep flicking around I don't know we've got a lot of, as you can see we've got a lot of settings here we can set our region RDS time FM band uh, the size of the FM band Safe steps is individual for band, 
program type on the uh, RDS. <coughs> frequency digit backlight, let's turn that off, see what effect that has. Highlight the frequency in SSB and color if the BFO is not zero. Mm, okay, so let's go to the next screen. We set the clock. Um, we can set the screen saver, display light off in screen saver, so on, screen saver settings there. Scanning SSB and AM modulation, I'm not sure what that means. So turn it off. View not city linked. I think this is to do with the memories. Battery indicator, battery value in volts, warning about an acceptable battery level. Encoder reverse, half stop encoder, half step encoder, and beeper. <coughs> Set the LNA on or off and the high Z antenna input impedance. You can set that from the front screen anyway. Mute the sound when turned on. Uh, we've got that. Unset. Uh, decoding. Uh, decoded data sent to COM port. It's possible to display the uh, decoded FT8 and FT4 data on a tablet or mobile phone. We'll look at that in a future video. Uh, we can turn Bluetooth and wireless on or off. <coughs> And uh, access point mode, select AP, internet access, and so on. And there is a setting somewhere. Maybe it's on this screen. I did find some difficulty in, in finding this initially. This is set up on my Wi-Fi. Uh, if we go to wireless on or off, ah, there's our uh, network setup. I think so. We'll just exit from that. You can see my uh, network there. configurations there we can set uh, firmware update license key and back to the first screen so there's quite a comprehensive series of settings on this radio more so than there was on the original there were quite a few on the original ATS 25 there's a lot more on this as I say we'll go through some of the more important ones I wanted to show you working on our antenna next, and that's what we'll do. And then we'll have a look at um, the uh, outputting the decoded data uh, to a tablet or to a mobile. <laughs>